Happy holidays, everyone. Princess and the Bear here, and this is our special video from us to you as your number one choice in foodie infotainment. We do this video annually every year just to share the holidays and matching Walt Disney World trees with you. So happy Kwanzaa, Merry Hanukkah, Happy Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, however you're going to celebrate. Even if you celebrate none of those, this is our best wishes to you, yours, and everybody you care about, because we care about you. We've helped each other a lot this year, so come along with us as we share with you the magic of Walt Disney World trees. Be sure to have a happy holiday. You heard the girl. Magic Kingdom, the most basic of basic Disney World trees. It hasn't changed in the six years we've been doing this. Nope. It has the benefit of having Snoke flying around it, but honestly, you won't find a more basic Christmas tree, a large Christmas tree, in any other park. It's basic. I mean, maybe you want basic, and it definitely delivers that in spades, including the gifts. Classic toys, nutcrackers. It makes a good backdrop for taking pictures in front of the castle, but it's not the most interesting tree I've ever seen. Honestly, this feels straight out of the Christmas store that's over in near Frontierland. Yule Christmas shop. So here we are at the King, the Grand, the Grand Floridian, if you will, uh, gingerbread house. I'm excited for the gingerbread house because it's supposed to be like one of the one gingerbread houses that actually has something for princess to eat, but they don't. Well, they have a gluten-free item. They have no vegan items. The two gluten-free items. Uh, so I, in my excitement, was like, ooh, well, if princess is going to get like a vegan shingle or whatever it was going to be, I'm going to get some Mickey shape because if it's one thing I know the community loves, it's things that are shaped like some circular mouse head. So I got a dipped gingerbread Mickey ears. It's a Mickey covered in chocolate. Like me. A cuter. There's definitely a lot more to that chocolate dipping than I expected to be. I thought it was gonna be a super thin layer. It was actually a significant chunk of chocolate. Now I am still feeling kind of way because like it's just me eating and none of the princess and well the whole basis of this channel is going places we can both eat so is the gin is the the dipped gingerbread mickey okay yeah it's completely fine is that tainted by the fact that i'm the only one being able to eat something also yes uh yes am i throwing shade at the grand floridian for being more floridian than it should be and you know the kind of floridians i'm talking about yes i am throwing shade a lot of shade the cookie was fine. I'm going to get cookie three and a half out of five claws with a sad face. When don't you throw shade at the Grand Floridian? I'm a Floridian. I'm allowed to throw shade at the Grand Floridian. The Grand Floridian is the most stuffy, uncomfortable lobby on Walt Disney World property, and I will not be moved on this. Gingerbread House Prince Overlord. Everybody loves this gingerbread house. It smells really good. They do. They just wish they had vegan options. And then the tree is very pretty. Yes, 12 days of Christmas themed. I feel like there's less of these like little 12 day ornaments than last year. They're more around the hotel now than they were previously, but it's always been 12 days of Christmas also since we've been filming this. That's fine. Finding all the numbers is kind of annoying anyway, especially when that lobby gets crowded. This can be a hard trade to get in front of unless you're using like, like the photo path photographer. I always have a fun time trying to find the partridge in a pear tree because that's like the hardest one to find. Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. This tree is disrespectful. I thought it gets smaller every year, but it doesn't. It's the same size, the same, well, no, they changed the decorations. They have changed the directions. I love like the little uh, topper on the tree, and you'll see that in a second. But what I hate is that this is the smallest of the main Disney Resort trees on Seven Seas again. This it tree is, should be outside. I agree. And it should be three times as big. There's plenty of room in the lobby. I don't know why they don't give them the bigger tree. It's like Grand Floridian gets a big tree, the Contemporary gets a huge tree, then Polly gets... The small tree. You wanted a tree bigger than this. Oh, totally. I love the decorations. I just feel like it deserves a bigger tree. You can just go outside on the grass in the little grass area. I agree. Disney's Contemporary Resort. This tree needs a refurb. This tree was refurbed based on what I looked at. Last year, the railings were falling apart. This year, the tree looks slightly smaller. 
a little bit denser and it's supported properly. This tree looks like high school bleachers that have been sitting outside for too long. Let's, let's be real. Then you have the gingerbread castle. The castle's always been the castle also here once they introduced the gingerbread to the contemporary. It feels more 2D this year. I'm not a huge fan of it. And obviously Disney 100, I guess something to be excited about, but we've had more interesting gingerbread uh, sort of like castles, houses in this resort before. Yeah, or not, maybe not this resort. I missed the Wilderness Lodge one. I think this one is like the replacement for that one, but it's, it's like, reminds me of Candy Candy Lane. It's so flat, it looks like, like Paper Mario, almost. Wilderness Lodge. This is the granddaddy of Christmas trees. It's one of my favorites. Massive with the teepees and the Native American influences. I like the history in this tree, the culture of this tree. A lot of the trees around Disney World don't have that. I just love the design and the colors and how big it is. It's one, It's literally one of my favorite trees. My second favorite tree, I would say, at Disney World. And it blends into this lobby so well. You have like a little like the lit teepees that mirror the teepees that they have in the ceiling lights. And then like you have, depending on what floor you're staying on, you get different views of the tree. They even have like reindeer hidden up like on the like ledge where you can look at these things. It's a very pretty tree. Another one though that has not changed year over year over year. It needs nothing. Can't fix what's not broken. <laughs> Literally this tree is perfect. And look at these little like reindeer and everything here like that is cute. We're looking at the tree. And they have bears. Mm -hmm. That's we my favorite bears. spot to look at the tree. From the top? Yeah, did you get a fireplace and all that? Makes sense. Ford Wilderness. This is not the wildest tree in the wilderness. This tree feels like it's shrinking like your grandparents. It is smaller, I think, than previous years where we've filmed it, but I still love the giant wagon wheel in it. It's my favorite thing of all the things. I feel like it loses its personality, especially as, as the resort changes. It just doesn't feel as wilderness to me. Like it needs to be grander. This tree also needs to be a lot bigger. <laughs> Either that, or it needs to be like in a treescape where there's a lot of trees and each one represents maybe a different like portion of the wilderness because mm. just one big small tree one big small one tree by itself is just not not enough tree this is a one resort that really doesn't have an excuse they have tons of room they can do better welcome to epcot epcotians be sure to check out all of our Festival of the Holidays videos where we go into detail on foods and drinks, everything at this park. This is their tree. It is 100th theme this year. Got little balls in it. This tree changes a little bit every year, but doesn't change a ton. But we like the different changes. The 100 things sort of fit. I really love the little 100 like ornament balls that light up this year. I think it was a beautiful touch. I wish they would have done that for the 50th. Yes. And honestly, every tree in this park should have 100 things in it, but they don't. Happy holidays, everyone. Welcome to the Yacht Club. We're going sailing. This is one of Bear's favorite trees. It is, I like little boats. I'm not a boat person, but I like little tiny boats for some reason. They just get me. The boats are really fun. I yeah. love how big they are. They're like little model ships. Yeah, the cute. boats haven't changed. The boats are the same as they are every year, but like they're so intricate and well-designed. Like I can stare at those boats all day. It's like the same four boats, but I like it. But it's a variety. So, I mean, yeah, it's four, the same four, but it's a variety of four, which is cool. And gives you ideas for your own tree. They don't have to be traditional ornaments. And then of course the same train set that we get every year. Super cute. You have all these little like signs, like all the restaurants and things like hidden in this escape. Like there's a lot of detail in here. You should pay attention to Take some time, take a look at it, take some photos. Definitely walk around. Tree village, all that. Look at that, Hurricane Hannah's, one of our favorite bars. And the lighthouse, because this is the newest addition to the gingerbread houses this year. It even has a light at the top that rotates. It is a replica of the lighthouse that they have at the Yacht Club on the dock, and I think they did a really good job. And no, you can't go inside. A child did ask me while I was filming this. Really? Yes. <laughs> Literally at this part right here. Can I go inside? No. <laughs> Beach Club, because we love going to the beach. We love the Beach Club. As an idea, their tree is kind of generic, like beach things, sand dollars, and starfish. And it's always been a really small tree, I feel, compared to like Yacht Club yes. or Boardwalk. But this has one of the best gingerbread houses on the property. 
So you don't really need the best tree. I think it still has a nice theme to it either way. It has the nice, um, what was it, the steering wheel thing? They Not look, the steering wheel. They look like Michael Holmes with ornaments. And then of course the beautiful carousel. The carousel changes every year. So it's been really fun to see the evolution of this. Um, I think this is my favorite one that I they've agree. done. This is it's DuckTales this year, as you can see. And it's like the new um, DuckTales reboot cartoon. If you haven't seen that cartoon, go see it. It is absolutely so amazing. Good. And like, there's all sorts of little details from that show hidden in this tree. Uh, so if you haven't watched that, go watch that. And then actually come back with this video and tell all your friends. Also, there are a ton of hidden Mickeys on this carousel, as well as everywhere that we've shown you so far. So be sure to comment and tell us which hidden Mickey you like the best. I can't remember how many this was supposed to have, like 33, 113? It's a lot. It's a lot. Tons. Little Easter eggs all through there. Little feet, little duck feet. 2,022 pieces of gingerbread and 23 hidden Mickeys. That's a lot. Get to searching. We're not giving anything away from you. We also didn't check. <laughs> Disney's Boardwalk Inn, the one Disney resort I feel like people should spend more time in. There's so many different little intricacies at the boardwalk as far as decorations go. The outdoor tree is beautiful during the day and at night, and then different decorations for the trees inside, plus a gingerbread that changes every year. Yes, this tree does have like subtle changes year over year, but they're not like massive. It's still basically the same tree. Last year they had like the popcorn strings on this tree, mm. and this year the it matches more of like the gingerbreads. So that I kind of liked that detail. Uh, this is still like one of the most intricate gingerbread houses on property. It's basically like a little mini boardwalk complete with like the deli and the bakery and it's very cute. They added the deli last year when the deli opened and that was cute. And the, the lights and everything else. And then there's also a working clock inside this uh, gingerbread house with its own like, uh, what do you, the cuckoo clock mm -hmm. thing? It's orange bird. And then like the, each of the little mini trees on there, it's also themed, they're doubling down. It's very cute. The vegan gluten-free shingle. I think like the only thing I've been able to eat during the holidays since Grand Floridian let me down. This one is gluten-free. It smells like a ginger snap. It's really good. It's dry though. I think like it needs some tea or coffee or something to go with it. Tea is my preference. I would love to have this with some tea. This is really good, but it's very dry. I'm gonna four out of five gingerbreads. It's tasty, but again, it needs something. It needs an accompaniment. You can't eat this by itself. And it's very ginger forward. gingerbread shingle with a little boardwalk sticker. Go ahead and break off a piece of that. Not a Kit Kat bar. Ooh. That's a lot of ginger. Be prepared with some liquid. That is, um, that's about half a step away from being a ginger snap. It is so dry. I can see where the pressure's coming from. That is, um, it's definitely given Christmas. Given Christmas in the Sahara, though. Two and a half out of five loads. I'm guessing it's average. It's giving Christmas, but I'm guessing it's average. You want to give it lower than that? I want to give it a two. But given that it's it is vegan, it is gluten free, uh, and it, it is it does what it says. It is a ginger shingle, and I would expect the jingle to be sh dry and uncomfortable. So I'm gonna leave the two and a half, but with an asterisk. I feel kind of ripped off here because on this gingerbread shingle, there is a boardwalk stamp. Are you telling me the stamp isn't vegan? It's more than the stamp. Well, I mean, you could have, I'm saying you could have stamped vegan. Okay, what's in the stamp? Is the stamp like a sugar of some sort? I guess it does look kind of sticky. Why don't you put this on my roof? 
I don't know if anybody actually buys enough of these to build their own gingerbread house of this like magnitude. It's, it's, it's a roof shingle, right? No, you can't spit it out. No, there's people down there. They won't know. That is a. Oh my god. Was I a bad bear this year? Did I deserve a lump of coal? Because I just feel like I just ate a ginger flavored lump of coal. That was absolutely terrible. I never thought that the non vegan version would be worse than the vegan version. If I could have spit it out, I would have. That's a 0.25 out of 5 claws. Don't buy this. This is absolutely putrid. Ugh. Hollywood Studios into Jollywood Nights. Please be sure to check out our Jollywood Nights video. We ate a lot of different food and drinks there. Yes, there is food, there is drinks, and there's a jolliness to be had all around Hollywood Studios. We want this event to return and improve. And of course, you don't need to do Jollywood to see this beautiful tree. No, this is one of the early trees to go up every year. Disney's Pop Century Resort, because it's poppy. I really like this tree. It's got a lot of vintage stuff on it that's cool. It really gives me like a 50s vibe. It's very pop culture. Of the, of the times pop culture though, not like current pop culture, which is what I think is really cool about it. There's like little references to all the different like years in here, which is, is thematically good. We like that, like a little skylight. I wish there was like more better lights coming like up top, but it's a nice large tree. I love the size of the tree. Every tree should be at least this size at the parks. I agree. Art of animation. The white tree. One of the most unique trees on property with all the art and everything in it, the colors, the sort of like rainbow gradient to it. It used to be bigger. I wanna say two or three years ago, they shrank the size of it to what it is today and it just makes me sad. But go check out an old video where you can see the bigger version because I really like that one. I wanna take photos in front of a tree. I think this is the tree. I agree. This with the background of the entryway. Caribbean Beach Resort. Love Caribbean Beach. It's one of our favorite moderates. We love eating here. We didn't eat here this time though. No, I don't love the trees here, but I love the soundtrack here. The soundtrack here is the best Christmas soundtrack in all of Walt Disney World. I agree. You gotta just go and vibe on the music and check out some of the pineapples, I guess. Yes, while you listen to the steel drums and the sound of island music. They do have live music on the weekends, so definitely check that out. This is probably also in my ranking of the saddest Christmas trees in Walt Disney World. Riviera is one of the newest hotels at Disney World and they have one of the saddest looking trees. This tree has never changed since this hotel opened. It's the least themed tree and it's like tucked in the lobby. I think the tree in our house is bigger than this tree. I don't know why I have this giant traffic cone in there though. Look at that. Christmas trees followed by Christmas treats. A chocolate, peppermint, Santa hat. If I had to wear this hat, I love Santa hats, as you may well know. Building collection at this point. Disney, I need an Animal Kingdom Santa hat. Give me what I want. Uh, this thing is kind of ugly. I wouldn't wear this on my head, and it's sticky. But you got like a little peppermint, white chocolate covered thingamabob on the top. Like, how do you people who love these treats so much eat these things? It's like, it's like a sponge. I'm just gonna cut into it. If I hate this, I'm never eating one of these again. I promise. Okay, so the marshmallow's on the bottom. The thing on the top is just chocolate covered and white powdered. So, you know, trying to cut through a marshmallow with a plastic Disney spoon is not the bee's knees. There's the inside filling, chocolate. Red ganache, outer shell. Wow. It's like an oversized, very powerful thin mint. That's so minty, I think my ancestors had fresh breath. My eyeballs feel like peppermint. Oh my God. Only, only for the peppermint fiends amongst you. 
let me try some of this marshmallow and then I'll give my rating. But, uh, wow. I don't know how. I'm gonna get this up. I'm still suffering up here. Nope. We're still eating it. Yeah, there we go. Took this chocolate ball with it. There we go. It's a lot of textures. It's like a hollow chocolate ball, a powdered sugar, and then the marshmallow isn't like a marshmallow marshmallow. It's like a peep with like that super spongy consistency, and then it's just like thin mint. Thin mint, thin mint, thin mint. Oh. Two out of five claws. But it's not my jam. I'm not going to finish this. Here we have the holiday fruitcake mule. I'm not sure why it's a fruitcake mule. Maybe because of like the orange bitters. Not 100% sure. But it's a mule and it has Uncle Nearest, so I can't say no to that. Not bad. I still don't understand how it is a fruitcake. It just tastes like a cranberry mule with Uncle Nearest whiskey. I enjoy it, but it doesn't live up to its name. So I would give it a four out of five for the flavor, but because of the name, I'm going to give it a 3.75 out of five Uncle Nearest. It's not the fruitcake I'm looking for. It's not Clark Griswold level. So you have a holiday fruitcake mule. I don't know if cranberry juice and apple blossom bitters a fruitcake make. I don't think I've ever had the horror of trying a fruitcake for Christmas. I'm glad that I haven't. It's not a holiday treat in my family. Uh, but I guess rosemary and fruit will go with it. Maybe just a fruitcake recipe. The person that came with the recipe is fruitcake. No, we love cast members and our team members. Uh, I'm at your mercy. I love the Uncle Nearest. I hate almost everything else about this. Too much rosemary. And the, the, the apple blossom bitters just... It's like a bitter apple. I mean, it tastes okay, but I'm not, I'm not getting fruit to it. Like at all. I would give it a... Two out of five claws. Not my jam. I'm gonna drink it. But not my jam. Animal Kingdom. We love Disney's Animal Kingdom. That's our favorite park at Disney World. Just ignore the shadowy place on the backside. We don't go there. I love all the Animal Kingdom references. All of the different characters. It's gorgeous tree, day or night. Yes, it's actually one of the easiest park trees to take a photo in front of as well. Yeah, they always have photo pass in front of the tree. And it's like one of the least crowded ones. Neglected, if anything. Tigger. Jiminy. There's lots of little hidden characters. Look for all the characters around the base of the tree. There's tons hidden in there. Jumbo, everybody. Jumbo to Animal Kingdom Lodge Jumbo House. Those little like deer out front, they have names. I forget their names right now, but we love this tree. This is my favorite tree at Walt Disney World, period. It's so pretty. So much culture decoration in here. The like little like mini like cultural ornaments, the instruments, all of that in this tree. It's a tree amazing. Plus it's so huge. It's like the same size as Wilderness Lodge, but African themed. If there's one resort I want to stay at during Christmas, it would be this resort. We do love this resort more than any other resort at Disney World. We try to make an excuse to go anytime we can. Holiday Mule here with us yet again. I'm not sure if this is going to be before or after Riviera, but if you haven't seen it yet or if you're going to see it, this is the same drink as the one that we had in the Riviera. Same price, way smaller size. I think it's because they only have these cups and they don't have like the full size bar cups like the ones we got at Bar Riva. Cheers to the Uncle Nearest. Tasty. Not as good as Barita because they mix it in the house at Barita and this was pre made. Definitely a huge difference. I will give it two out of five 
mistletoes. I'm not feeling this one. I feel like Animal Kingdom Lodge may be the place to spend your Christmas because they don't have one. They have three alcoholic Christmas drinks in addition to beer and wine in the lobby greeting room you come in. Uh, yes, is this the same drink we've gotten before? Yes, but it's, it's in a cup. And everybody that comes to Disney knows that themed cups add $3 and three extra points of magic. I don't make the rules, I just pay for them. Cup doesn't add to flavor, but I'm feeling more festive holding a mug than I would a resort solo cup. It's okay. It could use another two or three shots. And maybe not in a sippy cup. Three and a half out of five claws. We have a spiked apple cider, none for the princess because it's got fireball in it. Fireball is not vegan, so more for me, but a little secret, I detest fireball. Uh, years and years of bad memories and bad mornings. This, they put it in anything and I hate it, but I got a cinnamon stick and an apple. Yeah. You know, it's actually not bad. I expected the cinnamon stick to be too much because this is like a, Massive cinnamon stick. We go to Trader Sam's doing the cinnamon sticks that big, but it actually balances out now with the cider and the apple helps. Happy holidays. Four to five plus. I don't know what I was expecting when we got this cookie because I was expecting, like, you know, something sort of giraffe shaped with a Christmas wreath. There's a whole palm tree on the back of this cookie. That is completely necessary. He's so adorable, I don't want to eat him, but that's why you guys come here to see me eat cute things. That's, are the M&Ms in here? Yeah. Yes, they are. I guess you start with the head, Dano style. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, even when it's worse today, it's better than the cookies they gave me at Universal's Grinch Breakfast. For that alone, 3.75 out of 5 claws. I am going to devour this whole cookie. I wouldn't normally eat this much, but um, this is actually quite decent. I'm not mad at it. Do you feel merry and bright? And triumphant. Kadani Village. It's a village, but it's still part of Animal Kingdom Lodge. Love this tree. Like this tree is not the biggest tree, but like all the decorations in here, if I could buy these, I'd buy every single last one of these. My favorite thing about this tree is the little Mickey huts that they have. And then I didn't notice until we were filmed this that the lights like turn on and off and go up and down the tree. Yeah, it's a very subtle effect. I love like a little mini African Santa's in here. It's a very tight placement for this lobby, but like, I love this tree. I want all of these ornaments. But Disney won't sell me these ornaments. I wish that they had more of these little, they do actually have quite a few different themed trees around Animal Kingdom Lodge, so check them all out, not just the big ones. Disney's also our sports resort with sports balls. And it's filled with sports balls. Yeah, this tree has not changed year over year. A lot of the value resort trees don't change year over year, but it's literally just Let's take sports stuff and put it in a tree, and I think it lacks imagination. I kind of like the uniformity of the all-star hotels and how they're all basically the same tree, but just decorate a little bit differently. Like music is basically sports, but with notes. Yes, I also feel like you could do some other instruments in this tree other than just what you got. Like, I don't like colors in this tree, I'm not going to totally match the result. And then movies is just so basic when it comes to movies. You could yes. do way better than this. You could have done art of animation style, but with like movies in this tree, but instead you just did like film strips and film canisters. And stars. Disney's Coronado Springs. We spent a lot of time in this resort. We have, you definitely should check out our, some of our original, our first or second series of this video in particular, because the Coronado Hotel trees have changed drastically. Still very beautiful, very avant-garde, like this entire resort is sort of like that same Salvador Dali themed all throughout the resort. But there used to be a huge tree in the actual main lobby, the old main lobby, and then a huge tree that you know, was in Grand Destino. I think this one's a little bit bigger than the original tree, but uh, I mean, it's, it's a fun tree to take photos. It was kind of tight, it sits right, right in the, the bar area downstairs, but it's a nice tree. I just wish that both hotels had big trees like this because they deserve it. Yes. It, it's got a lot of history in this tree. 
And this tree also should be outside. I don't know why this tree is inside. I agree. But at least give it up for the cloak. Best thing of the night. This is old Key West Resort. I want to like the resort. I really do. I just don't. Again, this is another one where you need to check out some of our old videos because this tree has also changed drastically with the refurb of this lobby. Yes, you can see like the old tree style outside in, in the walkway, but like the new tree is in the lobby. French Quarter is a weird collection of trees. It's like four trees instead of like one big tree. Two trees match, two trees are matched, so it's like two and two. It's always Mardi Gras style and I really like that. I think it's, they're all very unique trees. They all have very unique decorations even though they match each other and I love it. Yes, all of the NOLA theme, like Masquerade, you have like the chevrons, you have all that. Very colorful. I think that these collections of trees is better than the ones that they have at Riverside. I would have to agree on that one. These trees have passion, what I would say. Be sure to check out Scat Cats too. To this day, I don't know what this tree is supposed to be. Like this tree is just a tree. That's it feels a lot like the nice. Magic Kingdom tree to me. Like it's, it doesn't feel as connected to the culture as French Quarter tree does. It just feels like somebody's old timey tree. And it is another tree that has not changed in all of the years that we've been filming this. It's just a big, beautiful, extravagant tree. Saratoga Springs. This tree has received a significant downgrade. Yep, this is another one where we gotta say watch one of our old tree videos because these purple ones are, were not there. It was all the red before and it was a huge tree. We don't even have a big tree anymore here. And these tiny, skinny, like, go feed them at Artist Palette type trees. Yeah, I don't understand why they decided to just not put big tree in here because there's and, plenty of room. And the lobby size hasn't changed. I, I don't understand that decision. I think it'd be more pretty. This year, I really felt like Disney Springs tree had more snoke than any other tree, even in Magic Kingdom tree. Like, there was tons of snoke, like a yeah. blizzard. Now, we didn't do the tree trail this year. Definitely let us know in the comments if you want us to do that, but we are just gonna give you the main tree at Disney Springs yes. because it's joyful. What the tree trails become like being so like spread out and basically sitting in planters is very hard to like go and like see the trees so everybody's sitting around them. Happy holidays, you're one from Princess and the Bear, your number one choice in foodie infotainment. Whether you are alone or with family, we are always here for you and bringing you little pieces of whatever magic we can in what could be a very difficult time for some people. We're your family now. <laughs> but if there's anything else you'd like to see us do, of course, the comments are always a good place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this and... We have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe like this video and if you don't comment Bear might lead himself into this tree. I'm just gonna live in the woods, but you heard the girl.